Holy cow! A fan holds up a sign referring to Phil Rizzuto during a Yankee game against the Baltimore Orioles at Yankee Stadium. Hi everybody, this is Short Shots. The scooter had died the previous day at this time in 2007. He had been the oldest living member of the Hall of Fame. Did anyone ever have a bad word to say about Phil? Well, yes. When he first tried out for the Brooklyn Dodgers, manager Casey Stengel took one look and said, hey kid, you're too small to play baseball. You gotta go out and shine shoes. But Stengel had no complaint. When the five foot six Rizzuto became his star shortstop with the Yankees, the scooter played his entire career with the Yankees, except the two during his Navy stint in World War II. 16 as a player and many more as a voice of the Yankees on radio and TV. The Bronx Bombers retired as number 10 in 1985. Casey surely would have approved. Hey, the first games of football season are now being played. Let's talk about the final game of the season with a question. How did the Super Bowl get its name? Answer. When the National Football League and the American Football League merged in June of 1966, they scheduled a championship game between the champion of the two organizations for January 15, 1967. It was officially called the AFL-NFL Championship Game. After watching his children play with a toy called a Super Bowl, Kansas City's chief owner, Lamar Hunt, suggested that the newly formed league call the game the Super Bowl. The media picked up the name, and in its preview of the upcoming NFL season on September 4, 1966, the New York Times headline story, National Football League set to open season. They will end in Super Bowl. That's how it happened. Mother of God, thanks for watching. Until next time, be a good sport. Stay loose.